busted. Obviously, two big away games coming up this week. How are you feeling going into those, coming off the back of back-to-back -back wins at home? Um, yeah, we're obviously a uh, good win on Saturday, so we're lads are in good spirits today. Um, we'll face a, a different test tomorrow in terms of long away trip, um, different uh, style of play, Leamington play, so um, we've looked at them and yeah, we're fully prepared for both games really. And away form this season, so it hasn't been quite as strong as the home form so far. Do you feel like that's something that you need to kind of work on if you're going to push into the playoffs and stay there? Um, yeah, obviously you have to pick up results away from home. You can't just expect to uh, to, to get in the playoffs by just winning your home games. So we're fully aware that we, we need to be a little bit better away from home and um, start picking up results, get a little bit more momentum um, on our side. And then hopefully uh, over the next sort of month or so we'll, we'll win our home games and we'll pick up points away from home and that'll be enough for us to get where we need to be. And just back to Saturday quickly, obviously Mitch Curry's debut, got himself a goal, made quite a few incisive runs as well, even though he sort of said himself, you know, he's still working back to match sharpness. How happy he is with his performance? Yeah, really happy. You could see he's, uh, he's a very intelligent player, he makes intelligent runs. He's going to be very different um, than what Josh was. He, he gives us a, a different outlook. Um, he's always looking to get him behind, playing on the shoulder. And the players that we've got, we should be able to find him. Um, over the moon that he got his goal as well. Nothing better for a centre forward on his debut, getting his goal. Hopefully that'll give him the confidence to kick on. So yeah, it was a it was a great performance, and uh, he settled in really well with the lads as well. So all positive. And of course, it's a very tight table at the minute. You've got just two points separating sixth all the way down to twelfth. So do you feel like now is kind of the pivotal time to come into a bit of form because so you get a win, and you can jump up sort of quite a few places. Yeah, uh, I said last time we we need to start stringing some wins together, um, and obviously. We've put one on, on Saturday so and one previously before that as well. So we just need to keep adding to that and just taking it sort of session by session and making sure the boys, the boys are prepared every day. Um, and then going into a Saturday, the, we've got a game plan and we stick to the game plan, um, which, to be fair, that's what we're working at and that's what the boys have been doing. So if we can put a run together around this time of the year, it's it's going to it's gonna put us in good stead. Obviously, last year, um, you look at sort of Blythe, weren't in it at all, and then put a string of uh, wins together towards the end of the season, managed to sneak in seventh place. Um, so even if you don't put a run together, you're not totally out of it because it's seven places. But the fact that we, we really want to push as high as we can, it's important that we, we do string a, a run of wins together now. And of course, you touched on Leamington before. They've recently lost their top scorer in Josh March, who scored 16 in the league. Do you think that will kind of change the way that they might sort of approach games a little bit going forward? Um, it would be a big loss for them, uh, as it would be anyone. You know, you lose your top goal scorer. Um, but in terms of the style of play, I, I don't think they've, they've changed much. Um, we watched them, sort of. Uh, sorry, I watched them yesterday um, quite in depth and I've watched a few games and I don't think they've, they've changed their style as much. They're, they're quite direct, they like to get the ball forward. Uh, they're all big, strong, physical lads um, and they, they don't think we've dipped in form since they've lost the centre forward. So I think they've just pulled together and they're on a, on a good run of form as well. So it's going to be a, a tough test for us tomorrow, a really tough test. And then just in terms of team news, obviously JJ missed out on Saturday, still nursing a bit of an injury. How's he and the rest of the lads looking at the minute? Um, JJ has got an issue with his foot. Um, obviously, it's been ongoing since he came off injured. Um, he's going to see a specialist tomorrow night. Hopefully, we'll have more of uh, an indication of how long he's going to be out, um, exactly what the problem is, and then we can we can go from there. In terms of everyone else, everyone else is fully fit. Forbes, he came back in Saturday after having a problem with his ankle. He's had no issues since. Um, everyone's 100% ready to go. Done. So good. Cheers, Jack. Cheers.